I'm Paul and this is Forge Junkie. Today I'm going to make a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time. I'm building a Viking sword. So I'm going to do this Viking sword old school. We're using the charcoal forge. We're going to do it the same way the Vikings did it. I'm going to use this piece of 5160. We're going to start by hammering in the point and then we're going to draw it out backwards. Oh yeah, that's a nice color right there. That's what we're looking for. Beautiful. So the Viking sword is coming out great. We got the tip all hammered in and now we're just going to draw that blade out. At this point it's a lot of beat and repeat. Today we're going to start by making the tang. The tang is the part of the blade that goes under the handle. If you don't know what it is, you're about to find out. You see that tang, that's where the handle's gonna go. And we're gonna continue to thin and stretch that out. But you can see now the handle's taking shape. So this is the start of day three. Today we have many ravens flying around behind us. Obviously Odin is watching and he's pleased with my progress.
So the last thing to do to finish the Viking sword was give it the magic that every Viking sword should have and engrave some runes on the blade. Um, I did an electro engraving. I've never done that before, so I decided to give it a try with this and we're about to peel this tape off and see how it came out. So here's a look at my finished Viking sword. This one was modeled after one that was found in a Viking grave. I did my best to replicate it in a way that it would have been made originally. This one has a blood wood handle that I used boiled linseed oil on to bring out the shine and protect it. I really like the way the brass looks with the red. I tried real hard to make this pretty, but make no mistake, this thing was built as a real weapon would have been. I really am looking forward to seeing how this thing performs, but honestly, I don't feel like I'm dressed proper to test a Viking sword of this quality. I'll be right back. Ah much better let's test this Ladies, this one's for you.
The perfect sword for all your household needs. I'm very pleased. This sword would do well on the battlefield. Thank you for watching my video and chop things up. Now you know how I make a Viking sword. Hand forged, hand made, with the blood of my ancestors pumping through it. Mm, that's the way I like it. Remember, subscribe, like my videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And if you'd like to buy something, contact me. Now! Good. See you next time on Forge Junkie.